Okay? Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss about simple and compound interests. And to facilitate better understanding, we need to make ourselves familiar with the different terms here. Uh, namely, the lender or the creditor, the borrower or the debtor, the principal interest, simple interest, time or term, the origin or loan date, the rater, repayment date or the maturity date, and the maturity value or future value. But before we start, I would like to request everyone to open your quarter two module one for the definition of the terms listed here on the board okay okay so to better understand the terms let us make use of the example there on your module on page eight So the problem, due to COVID-19 pande pandemic, Miss Dada, a female resident of Barangay May Pagkakaisa, somewhere in Quezon Province, thinks of a business that can provide for her, for her needs as well as the need of her neighbors. So she can be of help even in this trying time. Having no money at hand, she decided to borrow from a bank at the startup capital of 50,000 pesos at 7% simple interest rate payable within 5 years. Compute for the interest yield. So in this problem, we are going to identify who is the, the lender who is the borrower, what is the principal, what is the interest rate, okay? And then, what is the time or the term of the loan? So in this problem, the lender is, the lender or creditor is the what? Okay, so recall or take note that lender or creditor defined as a person or institution who invests the money or makes the funds available. So since Miss Dada needs a capital for her business and she borrow it from a bank, as the startup capital so therefore the lender here is the bank okay take note that a lender is not just limited to a person it could be an organization a company or an institution or or it could be a government but in this case Dada borrowed the money from a bank therefore the lender here or the creditor is the bank and who borrowed the money it was miss dada so therefore miss dada in this case is the borrower or what we call the debtor so when we say borrower or debtor a person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds from the lender so dada borrowed from a bank so the bank is the lender or the creditor and then miss dada is the borrower or the debt the debtor okay and uh, i would like to emphasize as well that it could be uh it's possible that the borrower is a, is an institution or a company and the lender is another company or an institution as well it could be a person or borrowed from another person okay 
And in this problem, ba uh, Dada borrowed how much? So Dada borrowed 50,000 pesos. And this 50,000 pesos that he borrowed from a bank as her startup capital for her business is what we call the principal. Okay? The principal amount. So how do we define principal? So when we say principal, denoted by capital P, the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Okay? So Dada borrowed this 50,000 pesos from a bank as her startup capital for her business. So therefore, the principal amount is what is 50,000 pesos. And the bank charges 7% simple interest. Okay? Take note that the bank charges 7% simple interest. This 7% simple interest is what we call the interest or the simple interest. So what do we mean by interest? So when we say interest, amount paid or earned for the use of money. Okay, so therefore, uh, the bank will charge 7% simple interest, meaning at the end of 5 years, Dada will have to pay 50,000 pesos plus the 7% of the amount she borrowed from a bank. Okay? So, it's quite easy to, to compute for the value of the simple interest. We only need to multiply 50,000 pesos times 7% and then the time or the term of the loan okay we will learn that later but in this case it's quite easy to de determine uh, what is the simple interest in this problem usually uh, it is denoted by 7% or the term interest is uh, always indicated in the problem so that's quite easy to determine and we have here five years. Okay. So Dada will pay 50,000 pesos plus the 7% simple interest within five years. So therefore, the time, okay, the time or term of the loan is five years. So the time or term of the loan denoted by T is five years. Okay, and time or term is the amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested, length of time between the origin and maturity dates. So, Dada is expected to pay 50,000 pesos plus the 7% simple interest within 5 years. Okay, 5 years time. So, let's recall the lender is the bank the lender or the creditor is the bank okay where data borrowed the money and then the borrower is miss dada okay the principal amount is 50,000 pesos the interest is 7% and the term of the loan is 5 years okay that's it Okay, so let us try to answer the problem and to define as well some of the terms that we haven't defined yet. Okay, so from our problem earlier, so we, we defined time, the principal, the interest rate, and, of course, the amount after T years, okay? Uh, that is the total amount that uh, has to pay after 5 years. That is what we call the maturity value. 
So for the time, take note that Dada is expected to pay 50,000 pesos plus the 70% interest rate within 5 years. So therefore, the time is for 1 year, after 2 years, after 3 years, after 4 years, and after 5 years. And take note, the principal refers to the amount of money borrowed from an institution, a person, or a company. In this case, Dada borrowed it from a bank and the amount is 50,000 pesos. Okay, so therefore, the principal amount is 50,000 pesos. And with an interest rate of 7 percent. Okay? <clears throat> So, how do we solve for the interest after one year? Okay? So, what will be the interest after one year? Take note that to solve for the interest, we use the formula I equals P R T. Okay? Where I, the capital I refers to the interest earned, okay? And the P refers to the principal, capital P re refers to the principal amount. R refers to the interest rate charged by an institution, a company, an organization, or a person. And T refers to the time or term of the loan. So we need to solve how much interest will it have at the end of one year. So the principal amount is already given. That is 50,000 times the interest rate, which is 7%. So, if you are using a calculator and you have there the percent, you can simply write 7 and then you may include percent. However, if it doesn't have a percent there, so we can convert this to decimal number. Take note that percent means per 100. So, that means 7 per 100. That means that we need to divide 7 by 100. Okay, or since we divide by 100, we can simply move two places going to the left. So that means from 7, we move um, 1, and then, ah, I'm sorry, 1 and 2. Okay. So therefore, since by 100, we only the number of zeros determine the, the number of places we move, the decimal point. So therefore, we have 0 0.07. Okay? Again, if you can automatically include the percent, so no need to convert it into decimal number. However, if your calculator does not allow you to do that, you can simply convert it to decimal number by dividing it by 100. Or simply move two decimal places going to the left. So that means 7% is simply equal to 0 0.07 times 1 year times 1. Okay, the unit of time is in year. So therefore, one year. So 50,000 pesos times 0 0.07 times 1, the answer would be what? 3,500. Okay, so at the end of one year, at the end of one year, it will earn an interest of 
3,500 pesos. So don't forget the unit. It's in pesos. That's very important. So what will be the amount after one year? So we only need to add 3,500 to the principal amount. So 50,000 pesos plus 3,500 will give us 53,500. Okay? 53,500 pesos. Okay, so that's only for one year. How about for two years? Okay, how about for two years? So the principal amount is still the same, so 50,000 still, and the interest rate remains constant, which is 7%. Okay, however, in this case, the time now is two, two years. So therefore, we have to replace 1 by 2. So at the end of 2 years, Dada will pay or it, the principal amount will earn how much? 7,000 pesos. Okay? 7,000 pesos. So the interest here, let me denote it here. Take note that interest rate is different from interest. Okay? This is denoted by capital I. For the first year, it will earn 3,500 pesos. For the second year, it will earn 7,000 pesos. And then, the maturity value after two years will be 50,000 times, a plus 7,000, okay? And that is 57,000. So, 57,000 pesos. Then, how about three years? So, we have 50,000 pesos and then 7%, okay? How much? Change instead of two here. Since at the end of three years, so we have 50,000 times 0 0.07 times 3, we have 10,500. So 10,500. So it will earn an interest of 10,500 pesos after three years. And then the maturity value after three years will be 50,000 pesos plus 10,500 will give us 60,500. 60,500. Okay? And for four years, we have So, replace this with 4. That means we have here 14,000. Okay? Is it 14,000? Is it correct? 14,000. Okay. So, it will earn an interest of 14,000 pesos. So, the maturity value after 4 years is 50,000 plus 14,000 that will be 64,000 pesos okay okay then for the last year for the last year we had 7 percent still so replace this one with 5. Okay. This is now the 5th year of the term. So therefore, 
multiply 50,000 pesos times 0 0.07 or 700 times 5, that will be 17,500. And the maturity value after 5 years will be uh, 50,000 pesos plus 17,500. And that will give us 67 67,500 okay. 57,000 67,000 I mean 500 Okay So that's it That means the maturity value after 5 years will be 67,500 Okay And observe Observe That the principal amount remains the same 50,000 pesos Same goes with the interest rate Which is 7% all throughout Okay So how much is the interest earned actually if we are only concerned on how big or how much is the interest after or at the end of five years so we only need to add up these values okay so we have or subtract 50,000 pesos from 67,500 that will give us the total interest earned at the end of five years or within five years so we have zero zero then uh, 15 right so 10 uh, 20 1 22 1 2 3 4 I'm sorry Uh, no, 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 no. 17,500. I'm sorry. My fault. That means the interest earned at the end of 5 years is 17,500 already. Uh, okay. My bad. 7,500. We can get this value actually by subtracting 50,000 from 67,500. Uh, so, I is equal to the the final the future value or the maturity value minus the principal we have 67,500 minus 50,000 that will give us 17,500 pesos okay so this is actually the total amount of interest earned in five years okay that's it okay let's continue with our discussion using the example in your module page six okay page six simply saving Okay, so the problem states, a working student at one of the biggest fast food restaurants in Lucina City wants to save for the upcoming school year. He wants to deposit his money to a Filipino-owned bank so that, even in a simple way, he can help his fellow Filipino. Suppose his monthly salary is 10,000 pesos. And... It was deposited to an account that earns a simple interest of 2.75% per annum. Find the simple interest after 6 months, 1 year, and 18 months. So in this case, 
we are going to find the interest or the simple interest after 6 months, after 1 year, and 18 months. Okay. But before we solve that one, in this problem, to recall the different terms that we discussed earlier, so let us identify here. Hmm. Who is the the borrower? I uh, know. In this case, the working student didn't borrow any money. He deposited. So mean that means he invest. Okay. He invest. So that means. The principal amount, okay, so there is no borrower here, and there is no lender as well, okay. So the principal amount, we only need to determine the principal amount for the investor is the working student, of course. Then, how much money did he invest? At that bank, Filipino owned bank, 10,000 pesos. Okay? So that means the principal amount is 10,000 pesos. That's it. Okay? And it was deposited to an account that earns a simple interest of 2.75% per annum. Okay? So the interest rate are is 2.75% 2.75% okay that's it per annum and the time is per annum okay so take note of the term per annum when we say per annum it happens or the interest will be charged after how many months okay how many months we have six months okay so this means per annum means six months that's it okay So it is to be understood that the time here is for, uh, there are three specified time here, after six months, one year, and 18 months. So there are three specified time here, or term. So six months per annum, six months per, that means first six months. Then, T sub 1, T sub 2, let's denote that as first, uh, the first term is 6 months, T sub 1. The second term is um, 1 year, right? 1 year. Let's see, there are 12 months in a year. And... Third one is uh, after eighteen months. That's eighteen months. That's it. Okay. Hmm. So two point seventy five percent. We have now. Yes. So let us recall. So the principal amount is 10,000 pesos. The rate is 2.75% or or convert this to decimal number. So 2.75% that means 2.75 per 100 or 2.75 divided by 100. So we only need to move 
two decimal places going to the left when we divide. When we multiply, we move two decimal places going to the right. Okay? So that means 1 and then 2. Okay. So this is equivalent actually to 0 0.0275. 0 0.0275. Or in your calculator, that's quite easy. 2.75 divided by 100 will give you, or will give us, 0 0.0275. Okay? And the first term is 6 months. Take note that the term is uh, always defined in terms of year, actually. So, six months, that means what? How many months in a year? We have 12. So, that means six divided by 12. Right? Okay? And that is one half this is equal to one half or 0.5. Equal to one half or 0.5. Therefore, we can now solve the interest earned after six months. So per annum, so after six months, we have I equals P times R times T. Okay. In this case, we can use T sub 1. So, after 6 months or... do it this way. So, 6 months, that's it. For 6 months, we have I equals PRT. Then, 10,000 pesos. When solving, we did not, uh, it's no longer necessary to include the unit pesos. Okay? We can simply write the values. 10,000 times 0 0.0275 times 0 0.5 okay and that is equal to how much 137.50 okay we have 137.50 Okay, 137 pesos and 50 centavos. So don't forget to include the unit, the, the peso sign. So that indicate that means that we are dealing with money. So it will earn an interest of 137 pesos, 0.50 centavos after 6 months. Okay? And in one year, for one year, we have, for one year, let's solve it here. Let's denote this A and then B for one year. So again, we have I equals B, R, T equals 10,000 pesos times 0 0.0275 times 1. Okay. Times times 1. Because in one year, there are 12 months, so 12 divided by 12 will give us 1. So, 10,000 times 0 0.0275 times 1 
will give us 275 pesos. Okay. And for letter C, 18 months, okay, for 18 months, 18 months actually is 18 divided by 12, okay, since there are 12 months in a year, so 18 divided by 12 will give us, um, we can actually reduce this to lowest term by dividing both sides by 18 and 12, 6. So therefore, 3 and 2, 3 halves, which is equal to 1.5. Okay, 1.5. So that means we have I is equal to 10,000 times 0 0.0275 times 1.5. Okay, and that is 412.50. That's it. Okay. Okay, that's it. Maybe you are now ready to solve. Some um, problems here in your module, activity 1.3, and then on page 10. That's it.